Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another video. My name is Tom from Six Foot Networks, and the saga of the Bolt EV buyback continues. Uh, specifically, my uh, 2020 premiere that I'm sitting in right now. Um, I heard back from GM this morning. They had received all the documents, uh, you know, from the last video that I talked about that they needed. And I guess the uh, process has started, but my local dealership is stonewalling GM by just refusing to respond. They spoke to the manager uh, there and he said he would get back to them within two hours. It's been two days and now he's not picking up his phone. So fantastically done. I'm really grateful that the agreements between the manufacturers and the actual resellers or sellers of these vehicles are so tightly knit that so many problems come up, you know, when something like this comes up. It, it's it's really tough. Like it really it really makes it hard to you know to give trust to certain you know dealerships or whatnot when it comes to buying a car or forming some kind of a lasting, you know, some kind of partnership or something with them, knowing that, okay, I'm gonna buy a brand new car from you. I'm gonna come to you for all the services. You know, I wanted to do that. Even though this car doesn't really require many services and the one-off chances that it does need something, I'd be happy to take it back to the dealership and pay, you know, higher, hourly uh, labor rates in favor of a better, uh, a potentially better experience with regards to whatever process I need to take care of. So needless to say, that's not the case here. And I'm really disappointed that now uh, GM is filing additional paperwork, which will now take uh, several weeks to process to escalate, uh, you know, whatever the middle ground is they have to escalate that to um, either find another dealership that will work with me or if GM will somehow just I, I don't know I, I guess they have to have a receiving destination for the vehicle just to complete the buyback process because from what I understand the uh, part of this uh, process is a you know, is a essentially a key exchange, right? So I'm going to take my car in, provide them my key, um, and they're going to give me the new car with its new keys. So that key exchange has to take place on some kind of ground that's authorized by GM to happen. I don't think they can just, you know, put a car, uh, put a Bolt EV or, or EUV or whatever the next uh, car will be that I'm getting on a you know on a freight train to ship it to me via truck or whatever it's i i didn't realize how complicated and convoluted processes like this are and maybe some of you guys that have gone through the through the process already and have received your new vehicle if you could just let me know kind of what to expect i know some of you have been very instrumental about writing your comments and i really appreciate that so thank you for that but uh you know, if there's anything else that potentially could come down a pipe, especially if you're from California, if you're, uh, you know, from the LA area, I, I don't know if, I guess these are state laws, the lemon laws are state laws. So I guess, um, that's how they kind of file these. But if you're from California and you've gone through the process, let me know what has happened. If you've had issues with dealerships, um, uh, you know, stonewalling, uh, the process or, GM having to go uh, through, you know, hoops, jump through hoops to get the process started. Right now, the email that I received this morning, and I would be happy to read it to you, except I'm using my phone to record this because I didn't bring my my GoPro uh, with me to my kiddo's school as I'm waiting for him to come out uh, for pickup. But that's neither here nor there. The email essentially said that they received my paperwork but the dealership is not responding. And uh, that is after they already made the uh, initial contact with the manager there. So um, I don't know if it makes sense for me to go there. Um, I don't know. I don't wanna go over there and punch somebody in the face because uh, you know, 
that would be bad. But I feel like, you know, a process that is not just time sensitive, but also, you know, impacting customers lives every day. I feel like, you know, the dealerships would have a little bit more respect for that. But of course they don't. Why would they? There's no incentive. Um, you know, they already made their money off the sale of this car and they've closed the books on it, you know, years ago when I originally completed the, the process, anything we do now will only cost them money because I don't know if there's some kind of a stipend or something that, you know, they can cover their hours of whatever the process involves. I don't know, speculation here, but <sighs> suffice it to say, the only thing I can do right now is, uh, you know, take a deep breath and every once in a while send them updated odometer readings based on what um you know how long the process takes that's it i think uh, i'm gonna have a phone call with them uh either next week or the week after to kind of sync up and and get more you know details as to what's to come i hope that you know the escalation comes through but they did tell me not to hold my breath on that so <sighs> deep breath on that and then we move on i guess uh that's all I have for you guys. Uh, my Bolt TV is still doing great. Um, the air conditioner is really conditioning right now. It kind of got warm. It's uh, it's in the high 70s right now um, in this part of Los Angeles. So it's a nice day. But anywho, I appreciate you guys' time. As always, uh, go down below and leave me your thoughts. I'll be sure to reply. And until next time, guys, thank you so much for everything, and thank you for watching.